Good morning, St. Albert the Great. Father Estoc here for our weekly chat uh, in this Easter season, in this beautiful time of the celebration of the sacraments of initiation and, of course, the uh, celebration of the sacrament of matrimony. And as you may recall, last week we had the celebration of the sacrament of the anointing of the sick. This Easter time is the time in which we uh, celebrate and reflect upon the great mysteries of our faith. And those mysteries are, in another word, called sacraments of the Catholic Church. And so, of course, I know second graders are celebrating and receiving First Communion. Uh, so, let me give greetings and uh, to all those who are about to uh, be initiated into the Church uh, through the Sacrament of Confirmation and uh, in the Sacrament of First Eucharist. Uh, blessings to all of you. And it is my prayer and hope that you will be uh, alive in the Holy Spirit in this time of resurrection, this Easter time. And uh, we have the Sunday readings uh, coming up this weekend uh, in which we are hearing the story of the Good Shepherd, uh, Jesus the Good Shepherd, who knows his sheep and they know him. Uh, they, we hear his voice and we follow him. Uh, this is uh, a time when we can also reflect upon the sacrament of holy orders. I've already mentioned in this uh, brief video, uh, baptism, confirmation, first holy communion, matrimony, anointing of the sick, and now uh, the holy orders. That is the ordination of men to serve in the ministries of deacon, priest, and bishop. Um, and uh, it is one of the seven sacraments, obviously, and it is a sacrament of leadership and service. Uh, you know that uh, when a man is ordained a deacon, he can uh, proclaim the gospel and the homily at mass. He can also uh, preside at baptisms and at weddings and at funerals. And he is an ordinary minister of the Holy Eucharist within the church. Uh, some of those deacons uh, go on to be ordained priest, which is another expression and a celebration of the sacrament of holy orders. So uh, all the priests that you know have been ordained a deacon before they were ordained a priest. And then of course we have the third and the fullest uh, celebration of the sacrament of holy orders in the uh, episcopacy or the bishopric to be ordained a bishop. So every bishop that you have known, whether it's Bishop uh, Roger Grease or Bishop Amos or Bishop Pilla or Bishop Lenin or now Bishop Molesic, all of those bishops were ordained a deacon and then they were ordained a priest and then after several years they were ordained a bishop. Sometimes it's confusing to people in the world as though, well, what is the Pope? And what we have to say is, well, according to the sacrament of holy orders, the Pope is simply a bishop because there is no more ordination for human beings. There's deacons, there's priesthood, and there's episcopacy, the bishop, being ordained a bishop. Everybody else uh, that serves in the church in various offices, because I'm sure you've heard of cardinals, you've heard of the Pope, uh, you have heard of Archbishop. Uh, all of those offices in the church are simply filled and given the title uh, to a bishop in the church. So what we have is deacons, priests, and bishops in our Holy Catholic Church, and they are in a special way the presence of Christ, Christ the Good Shepherd, intending to and serving uh, the flock of God's church. So, I uh, hope that you, this Sunday you'll be remembering to pray for the deacons, the priests, and the bishops, and that you will pray for vocations to the sacrament of holy orders. We need generous uh, young men to come forward in service to the church through the sacrament of holy orders. I hope you will 
uh, join me in giving thanks to God for all the good servants we have in our shepherds and that you will pray that many more uh, men will come forward to serve the church in this important way. Okay, have a great week.